All right, today is day five, and so today's focus is all the small muscles, okay? So we are going to need some equipment. Grab your dumbbells, and I will grab a variety. If you, have, if you don't have any dumbbells, totally fine. Run to your pantry, grab some canned soup, same thing, same resistance, okay? Or some water bottles, or a puppy, whatever is nearby. Just please be careful if it's a puppy, <laughs> okay? So, grab your equipment. Our timing today is we have eight exercises for one minute each. No rest in between, okay? We just kind of go for it. At the end, we're gonna take a 30 second break and then we're gonna redo it one more time. Cool? Two rounds, eight exercises. Keep your puppies safe. Okay, so grab a light, <laughs> lightweight, and we're just gonna go right for it. We're gonna start with lateral raises. So you're gonna start with your weights on your sides and you're just gonna raise up. Nice. I would start with a pretty light weight, okay? We made the mistake of starting with fives for a minute. It's fine, but <laughs> we can do it. But I would start with a really light weight because shoulders are very delicate. They're made up of a lot of tiny, tiny muscles. So you wanna be very careful and make sure when you raise up, you don't go higher than shoulder level, just up to the shoulders and down. Very nice. And you're gonna feel this right in the center of your shoulders. Huh. If you feel it in your neck, yeah, it should be warm. Don't feel it in your neck. If you're feeling it in your neck, kind of take a second, roll everything out, and put it in your shoulders, okay? If you're feeling it in your neck, also, maybe after this workout, schedule a massage. Keeping a lot of tension in there. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Nice, going into front raises. Same weight, we're just going forward. Nice. So. You're just keeping the weights in front of the body the whole time. And again, stopping at shoulder level. Something I want you to watch for is this. Okay, this is not a total body raise. This is just a shoulder raise. So I want you to focus on planting your feet nice and firm into the mat or into the floor. And you're just gonna kind of bend those knees and keep everything so still. The only things moving are those shoulders, okay? Up, maybe a smile. <laughs> those smile muscles. And again, you don't want to feel this um, at all in your neck, okay? This is purely in the shoulders, so make sure you're kind of relaxing the rest of your muscles and putting all the work in those shoulders. Are we warm yet? We should be pretty toasty at this point. Five seconds. Nice. Two and one. You can stick with the same weight or you can go up. We're gonna be doing bicep curls. No, hammer curls. So, you're gonna hold it like you pound a hammer, okay? You're holding your weight straight up and down. You're just gonna go up and down to your sides. A lot of things are, something I see a lot with bicep curls are people bring the weights and kind of rest them on the shelf of the stomach. I see it all the time. You might be laughing, but I see it all the time. It's way easier. But again, it's not a, I don't know what muscles you're working here. Don't do that. Keep your shoulders up, back and down, chest is high, keeping those weights at those sides. Just like a hammer. Full extension all the way up and all the way down, but don't lock out those elbows at the bottom. Looking good, nice, nice biceps. <laughs> Thanks. And make sure that while, maybe on the second round, you grab a phone and, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Post a selfie, tag me in it, cause I wanna see. Very nice, now we're doing bicep curls, so we're just gonna simply rotate those hands, palms facing up and down. When I lift, I like to keep my grip really soft, that way I'm not clenching, you don't wanna have like white knuckle <laughs> bicep curls. So make sure your grip is nice and soft so the work is in the bicep and not in your forearms. And again, the only thing working is from like the elbows down. It's not a body roll bicep curl, it's just just biceps. <laughs> so make sure everything is so still. Nice. Exhale up. Exhale. Knees are soft. Smile is on. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes you gotta write a bicep song. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Bicep song is on. Okay, nice. <laughs> Taking the weights down. Coming down to the floor. We are gonna be doing X crunches, okay? 
So your body will be making an X and then crunching in. I'm just gonna move these. So Marissa, go ahead and begin. So you're taking your, uh, there we go. Taking your whole body out into a nice wide X right here. Oh, sorry. And bringing it in. Okay, X and in. This is working the total core. But I want you to remember, anytime we're working abs, I want you to force everything down into the floor. Okay, you wanna feel your whole back against the floor. That's how you know your abs are engaged. If you feel your abs, or I'm sorry, if you feel your back lifting off the mat at all, you're not using your abs. So you're gonna be feeling it in your hips, you're gonna be feeling it in your shoulders. Make sure everything is nice and tight. And then up and down. If you feel your back raising during the exercise, just take your hands and feet higher to the ceiling. And then for more of a challenge, take it lower to the floor. Very nice. Leg raises, hands come under your hips. And again, keeping your back so flat on the floor, you're gonna take your feet down almost to the floor and then back up, but don't touch. <laughs> if you need a lower modification, you're just gonna bend and you're just gonna keep moving from the hips down right there. Make sure it's not just like a, I don't know what that is, but make sure everything's moving from the hips down so you really feel it in those low abs. And again, if you're feeling your back raise up off the floor, just don't, don't go down, don't lower, don't lower your feet as far, okay? Just go down until you feel your back lifting, barely, and then raise back up. Exhale, exhale as you come up. Very nice. All right. Nice, same movement, but this is called a scissor, okay? So you can prop your body up or you can stay on the floor, whichever feels better. You're just gonna make a nice wide movement, okay? Bringing your chest through or just again, laying down, whichever feels better. I don't think either is harder than the other or better than the other, just one might feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Another option again, don't forget, you can always just bend those knees and tap your toe down. Nice. We should have toasty abs at this point, right Marissa? This is Marissa. <laughs> nice. She has blocky abs, they're really good. Nice six pack in there. <laughs> More seconds. Three, keep your back flat. Two, and one, nice. Now we're gonna focus on the upper part of the abs, just right here. So hands come to your temples, we're gonna crunch up, okay? Just enough to raise those shoulder blades up off the floor, okay? But I wanna show you again, because I know you're not listening, okay? Are you listening now? Hands at your temples, okay? If you're feeling a little pressure, like your head is heavy, you can slide one hand under, but I don't wanna see this. Here, we're not working our neck muscles, we're working our Phenomenal abdominals, if you will. So, making sure that the work is just right there. By raising up, almost like you wanna hit your chin on the ceiling, shoulder blades come off the floor. Fingers at your temples. Exhale. And when you breathe, it also makes those abs work extra hard, so it's just bonus crunch with an exhale. So breathe. Exhale. Exhale. Nice. <laughs> so now we have 30 seconds to rest and we're gonna do that whole thing one more time. Toasty? Toasty. Toasty, see you in 30. <laughs> All right, one more round. So grab your weights. We're gonna start with lateral raises. Nice. So we should be kind of toasty at this point. Just medium toasty. And so make sure again that you're relaxing your neck, smiling all the smiles. Nice. And again, just not swinging the body. 
we have a tendency to do that. And again, sometimes I just know. <laughs> Been doing this for like 10 years now. <laughs> I know people swing their bodies. <laughs> but make sure you keep your body still. And whether that means, you know, like planting your feet, just driving them straight into the floor, kind of loosening those knees. Just make sure you're doing whatever you can to keep that body so still, okay? And again, it's just, it all comes back to the core, making sure that your core is tight. Exhale up, exhale. And if you have to swing your body, chances are your weight might be a little too heavy. So check that. Going right into front raises. Exhale. Very nice. How you doing? It's good, it's toasty. It's pretty good. <laughs> so again, we're just targeting all the small muscles today. We have three days where we only focus on the tiny, tiny muscles. I mean like tiny, because these are like the ones that show. These are, except for the abs, unless you walk around with like your shirt cut out, I don't know. Some people do, Marissa does, she doesn't. <laughs> but these like arm, we love arm workouts. We love small muscle workouts because we see the arms first and they, they show results really, really quickly. They only need a little bit of workouts, a little bit of workouts, a little bit of exercise, a little bit of focus to get a lot of really good results, which is great. Thank you, arms. Nice, hammer curls, just like a hammer. You need to try heavier. If you have some like weighted varieties, you can always go heavier and then drop to a lighter weight. You're gonna build more muscle, burning more fat that way when you push your body just a little bit more especially as the rounds progress. Our bodies get ready for more work for the next round, right? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, they prepare themselves. Bodies are always ready and getting ready for more work because they don't know what's coming next. So just in case, push a little harder. Grab a heavier dog. <laughs> Maybe stop what you're doing. Hit a pet store and grab a Labrador. Retriever. The best kind of kind. The best kind of kind. <laughs> Listen, we only have five seconds. <laughs> Two and one. Nice. We are now doing bicep curls. So again, palms up. Keep your elbows super still. They're just kind of just right there. Don't let them sway forward. We're not rocking anything and we're not doing this. What would you call that? It looks really cool. Probably walk into the mall like that. If you want a lot of attention. I'm not sure if it's good attention. <laughs> I'm not about to do it, but you guys try it at home and let me know how it goes. <laughs> nice. Keeping a nice pace all the way up and all the way down. And like we said on day one, you get more workouts or more results if you focus hard on going slow on the negative. So if you wanted to go up quick, down slow, you can get real, real nice and toasty muscles. Coming down to the floor for those X crunches. We're gonna come out and in. Out and in. So again, if you're feeling your back raising up off the floor at all, I'm just gonna have you bring your hands, not like straight up, but just higher to the ceiling and then back in, okay? We wanna make sure that the work is in your abs and not, I don't know, in your back, not in your neck. What a picture being like a flying squirrel. <laughs> Kaka! <laughs> I'm not sure of flying squirrels. What do they say? <laughs> probably not Kaka. <laughs> they probably also don't look like this, but if that helps visualizing, do it. <laughs> Leg raises, hands come down under the hips. Raising up and down. And up and down. Exhale as you bring those legs up. And again, if you need to bend those knees, bend them. 
do what you need to do to make sure that the work is in the right place and you're still challenging yourself. And again, if your back is lifting, just kind of drop your feet down until right before it lifts and come back up. No need to go all the way down to the floor if your form isn't right. It's not gonna do very much. A few more seconds here. Wow, that's toasty. That's real good. <laughs> Three, two, one. Continuing to burn out that lower body with those scissors. <laughs> good one. <laughs> Just bend your knees. <laughs> Oh my word. <laughs> Hopefully your abs are a little warm by now. I'm feeling it. I thought I was trying to be strong for you guys. <laughs> At home. <laughs> the giggles, man. Sorry. Keep it going. You can tap those toes down. Keeping those feet. Knees at 90, everything's moving from the hips down. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> Almost there, you guys. We're so close. Two, one. <laughs> oh, okay, hands come to temples, fingers at temples, raising up into a crunch. Whew. We're gonna be feeling those. Nice, exhale, exhale. <laughs> Whew. And again, if you're feeling any fatigue in your neck or any tension in your neck, slide that hand under and just gently get it up, okay? We're not doing this neck crunch. Make sure that your focus is on getting those shoulder blades up off the floor. Up and down, up and down. Few more seconds here. About 10. So I really want you to push for these last 10 seconds. <sighs> ah, we did it. Oh, roll it over. You deserve a stretch. So I'm gonna have you come down right here. Can you come down to the floor? Just kind of plant your feet nice. Raise up, or you can go all the way up like Marissa. Their back has that flexibility. Woo, very nice. <laughs> Take it up and back. You can come back up. We did it. Day five is done. Take a rest day and I will see you next time.